We start with breaking news, a case that investigators are calling brutal and horrific. The father of a two-year-old is now accused of his murder. Tonight, police say that the little boy's father killed him because the toddler was keeping him awake. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Hong live at Chicago Police Headquarters. Kathy and Alan, there's so much that is unsettling and tragic about this case. The age of the victim, how and why he was allegedly killed, and now the identity of the suspect, the boy's dad. Police say two-year-old Mateo Garcia Aguayo was brutally murdered because his father couldn't sleep. The two-year-old baby was running around and it was keeping him awake. The offender grabs the two-year-old in the kitchen and he holds him down. The offender then retrieves a knife and he cuts the baby in the throat, causing his death. Police say 37-year-old Rolando Ortiz then made a weak attempt to cut his own wrists before placing Mateo's body in a trash bag. Unable to reach his wife on the phone, police say Ortiz then called his sister-in-law, who then called other family members who live in the Little Village apartment building. The two family members make their way to the second floor. They find the baby in the garbage bag, and they also know the offender's bleeding from the wrist. After allegedly fleeing, Ortiz was arrested miles from the crime scene in Kankakee County, his car located with the help of the FBI. In Little Village, a growing memorial for a child who'll never grow up. He was just an innocent kid whose trust and safety was betrayed by the one man that he should never have to question, his father. Investigators say Ortiz may have been trying to flee to Mexico. Police say he has no prior criminal record, at least locally, and they're unaware of any previous problems at the home. Live at police headquarters, Eric Hong, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.